Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored Quick Looks video. And the subject of this video is the brand new Generation Selects Transformers Legacy DK2 Guard. Now, taking a quick look at the packaging, first and foremost, I love the new Generation Selects Legacy boxes. They just look so cool with the line art of the figure that's inside. Transformers Legacy right here, and something brand new for this packaging, you got the announcement that it is plastic-free packaging. So here on the side, Transformers Legacy, some more artwork that actually carries over. This side, words and stuff. And of course, you got the sticker right here saying what is inside the box. And the back of the box is more of that lightning look. Now, opening the box up, we've got the figure here inside, the DK2 Guard, who is a repaint of Earthrise Ironhide, hence the Quick Looks video. More details there on the inside of the box. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, I've got his weapon attached to his foot because it was here, but it was bouncing around inside the packaging. So now, without further ado, let's get the DK2 guard out of the box and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. New packaging, same product. Now, once you get the DK2 guard all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions, his shield slash vehicle roof, and his blaster. And then, of course, you've got the DK2 guard himself. And I love the looks of this guy. The black and red just pop, especially with those gold accents. Now, the DK2 guard here, as I said earlier, is a straight-up repaint of Earthrise Ironhide. But the DK2 guard is to represent Ironhide as he originally was in the Diaclone line. And I just dropped Ironhide off the corner of my desk. And he's okay. That made me a little bit nervous considering how much Ironhide goes for anymore. I don't want to have to get another one of these figures. Now, as I was saying, the DK2 guard here represents Ironhide how he originally was in the Diaclone line in Japan before he carried over here to the United States. No idea why they went and turned him red over here, but it's awesome to have a Diaclone version of Ironhide as a modern figure. Taking a closer look at the DK2 guard, I love the color scheme. It just pops, especially with the blue eyes right there. Not a big fan of the translucent chest, but with this figure being black, it doesn't look too bad. I do like the fact that they painted the windshield wipers there. So we'll bring in Ironhide once again, as long as he doesn't go tumbling off the table, so you can kind of take a look at the two together. As I said, exact same figure, just different paint scheme. And of course, you've got the shield right here that you can put on his arm like so. You can extend this forward, kind of like as a weapon of some sort. Or, like I like to display mine, attach it here on the back. And then, of course, he has his weapon. Put that in his hand. And there you have the DK2 guard, all armed and ready for battle. So now let's take a look at the DK2 guard in vehicle mode. In vehicle mode is where the Diaclone paint scheme really pops on the DK2 guard. I love the pinstriping here on the side that goes all the way to the end of the vehicle. Nice paint applications there for the lights and the bumper. Not a fan of the translucent windows, mainly because you can look through and see all of the red robot junk on the inside. I wish that was black, especially right there on the hinge. That just kind of really takes away from the look. And the feet hanging off the back 
take away from the look as well, but that's been addressed many times. Like the big red Autobot logo there on top. So yeah, a really nice looking vehicle and a great throwback. And we'll bring in Earthrise Iron Hides so you can see the two side by side. So pretty decent looking vehicles as long as you're looking at them from that angle and not the back. You'd think they would have figured out something to do with the feet. So there you go, the DK2 Guard in vehicle mode. And you know what? I need to talk to Toy Hacks about making this look like the A-Team van. The Transformers Generation Selects DK2 Guard is yet another great Diaclone repaint. I mean, we've had Generation Selects Lift Ticket, we've had Buzzworthy Bumblebee Silver Streak, and now this guy. I love the fact that Hasbro has accessed the Wayback Machine and is bringing us these fantastic figures in Diaclone colors. The Diaclone figures were some that I was never really familiar with until the invention of the internet. And I just think it's so cool that we now have modern representations of those classic figures. The only real issue I have with this figure, aside from the feet hanging off the back in vehicle mode that I already addressed in my Ironhide reviews is I wish that they gave him a name. DK2 Guard sucks. Why couldn't it have been Diaclone Ironhide? But you know what? Since he looks like the A-Team van, I think I'm going to call this guy B.A. Botrockus. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I want to give a huge shout out to all my current members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hooah!